Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Gavin Lon Digital. I'm Gavin Lon. This is the second part of a course entitled Let's Build an ASP.NET Core MVC Web Application on .NET 5. In the first part of this course, we looked at an overview of the web application that we are going to build over a number of videos that will make up this course. I demonstrated a prototype that I have built for the web application that we are going to build in this course. Please view the first part of this course before watching this video. This video will be a relatively short video to help equip us with the appropriate tools necessary for building the ASP.NET Core MVC web application. For content like this and much more, please consider subscribing. And please ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. So as discussed in the first part of this course, I'm going to demonstrate the creation of this web application on my Windows 10 platform. You can, however, follow along on both a Linux or Mac platform, but for obvious reasons, it will be a bit easier to follow along on a Windows platform. So in short, the technologies that we'll use to build the application on an appropriate Windows platform will be Visual Studio 2019 for Windows. Note, we can download the Community Edition free of charge and SQL Server 2019 we can also download a free version of this software free of charge. You are able to download Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition for Windows from this location. If you have any issues with your installation, please view a video created for this channel entitled Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition Installation Guide Install Visual Studio for free, which can be found at this location. This video will provide you with all the details you'll need to download and install Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition for Windows. Note that we are going to use the ASP.NET MVC project template as the starting point for our application. So please ensure that you install the correct workload. So if we activate this dialog from within Visual Studio 2019, we can see a list of workloads. The one you need to install to follow along with this course is labeled ASP.NET and Web Development. We are going to build the web application using C Sharp on .NET 5. You can install .NET 5 by installing the .NET 5 SDK. You can download and install the .NET 5 SDK from this location. And you can see on this web page that you are able to install the .NET 5 SDK on Linux, Mac and Windows platforms and you are obviously able to choose the appropriate installation package from the options provided on this web page. For more information on .NET 5, please see a video that was created for this channel that can be found at this location. As always, all links mentioned in this video are available below in the description. So once you have installed the .NET 5 SDK, you can invoke the appropriate command prompt and type .NET dash dash info to confirm that you have installed .NET 5 successfully. As mentioned earlier, I will be using a free version of SQL Server 2019 as the backend storage facility for the web application. You can navigate to this URL to install a free version of SQL Server 2019. If we scroll down the page, you can see here are the options for installing SQL Server 2019. You can install SQL Server 2019 on a Windows platform by selecting this option, or even Linux by selecting this option. You can even run SQL Server 2019 inside a Docker container, which would allow you to run SQL Server 2019 on a Mac platform. As discussed, I will be demonstrating the creation of the application on a Windows platform. We will also need a client user interface for SQL Server 2019. We can download the relevant user interface software for SQL Server 2019 from this location. This software is named SQL Server Management Studio and commonly referred to as its abbreviation SSMS. And you can see there is some interesting information on this web page about SSMS. Download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. SQL Server Management Studio SSMS is an integrated environment for managing any SQL infrastructure. From SQL Server to Azure SQL Database. SSMS provides tools to configure, monitor, and administer instances of SQL Server and databases. Use SSMS to deploy, monitor, and upgrade the data tier components used 
by your applications and build queries and scripts. Use SSMS to query, design and manage your databases and data warehouses wherever they are on your local computer or in the cloud. We may use Visual Studio Code for writing and testing some of our front-end HTML code. You can download the latest version of Visual Studio Code from this location. If you click this drop-down here, you can see the available options for installing Visual Studio Code on Mac, Linux, or Windows platforms. So that covers everything you'll need to get started using an appropriate Windows platform. I want to briefly discuss how you might follow along using a Linux or Mac platform. You can download and install Visual Studio for Mac Community Edition from this location. On a Linux platform, you could use Visual Studio Code as your code editor. This channel has provided a guide to help a learner create a basic c -sharp application using Visual Studio Code. At the end of this video, there is a brief guide on how to start an MVC web application using Visual Studio Code. Although the demonstration in this video on Visual Studio Code was done using a Windows platform, this video may be able to help you if you are using a Linux platform to follow along with this course. You can also use Mono Develop if you are on a Linux platform. Please navigate to this URL for more information. Note, you can run SQL Server inside a Docker container, which will enable you to run SQL Server on appropriate non-Windows platforms. But if you are using a non-Windows platform, it may be easier to follow along with this course using SQLite as your back-end storage facility. As discussed in the previous part of this course, I developed the prototype for this application using Visual Studio for Mac and SQLite as the back-end storage facility. SQLite is built into most computers. For more information about SQLite, please navigate to this URL. Note that much like SSMS provides a user interface for SQL Server, you can use this software named SQLite Browser as your user interface for SQLite. To install SQLite Browser and learn more about SQLite Browser, please navigate to this URL. You can use whichever browser you like for testing the code for the application, but I'll be using Google Chrome as my browser in the videos created for this course. You can download Google Chrome from this location. Google Chrome is a cross-platform web browser developed by Google. It was first released in 2008 for Microsoft Windows and was later ported to Linux, macOS, iOS and Android where it is the default browser built into the OS. So in this video we have gone into quite a lot of detail of how you can follow along with this course. Basically if you are using a Windows 10 platform which is the platform I will be using during this course, you only need Visual Studio 2019 for Windows, Community Edition, and SQL Server 2019 to follow along with this course. Please review the details provided in this video regarding following along with this course if you are using a Mac platform or a Linux platform. So that's a basic guide to getting started for the creation of our web application. As you can see, all of the tools we will be using can be downloaded and installed free of charge. So this course is accessible to anyone who wants to learn. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you. In the next video, we will focus on database design for our web application. So we are going to start developing the application really soon. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. For content like this and much more, please consider subscribing and please ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. I really enjoy engaging with you in the comments section, so please feel free to share your thoughts with me in the comments section. All links mentioned in this video are available below in the description. Thank you and take care.